going on guys it's calvin fpl back again with another fpl video for you all hope you're all doing good in today's video we're going to be talking about how we're going on game week two how my season's going so far and uh game week three yeah i've hit the wild card button let's bloody go for it yeah so for game week two i had uh trent uh six points um, yeah, I was just fiddling about maybe to, should I bench boost? And then the slanky news came that came out with the whole, like, injury. And so I was like, oh, I really effed up there, didn't I? So, because my transfer in was Bernardo Silva and I took out, uh, Gordon. Um, pff, what happened there? Boom. Um, other players, well, Smith Rowe did well. Uh, yeah, Bernardo Silva didn't do good at all. Um, Kuliszewski got something, was it a system of a goal, something like that. Um, I had Haaland in, a lot of people tripped, or captained Haaland, I was like, really? What happened to the double game weeks, Wait for that? But what I'm hearing now, we're not going to get many dip, double game weeks, so that's a pain in the ass. Is it a good thing, is it less in disguise, because not like, get all frustrated? You know what, I'm like, my chips guys, I'm like, I'm, I just get rid of them early on. Uh, so yeah, I benched uh, Raya. Um, I was debating whether to start Robertson or Rogers. I started Rogers. I thought attack and returns there. Bloody Robertson did better. He conceded, but he got an assist and bonus, I think. Uh, but Raya, my God. 10 points, Henderson, one point. I just thought he's played Aston Villa. Aston Villa will probably score goals, something like that. And Christmas might keep a clean sheet. I was wrong. So I messed up there rapidly. Uh, big time. Um, who else to have as well? Pedro Poro did well. Uh, yeah, like I said, Smith Rowe. Uh, Rogers didn't do good. Isaac was crap. Um, but yeah, Jota. Had Jota in again. Great team starting. Instead of bloody Nunes, he... I swear to God, he's missed it every time. I'm glad slot is starting Diego Jota. He's a natural finisher. He can bloody finish. Get that ball at the back of net on like bloody Nunes. Um, so yeah, so Jota, um, gone in my team since game one. Getting returns once again, which is great. Mo Salah, ah, oh, pain the arse this, I tell you. You know, people triple captain Mo Salah first week. People Then people tra triple captain Haaland second week. I'm like, Really? I mean, fair play, it, it did well, but I was like, you know, this is something I would probably do, but I wouldn't have done it early, triple captain. I mean, bloody hell, I blew it on bloody Salah last season when he played Manchester United, was it? And he blanked in that game, I was like, oh. I was like, I didn't want to do FPL anymore after that happened, but yeah, so that's how I got on, moving to game week three. So yeah, I got a green arrow, uh, which was... Nice to see. Um, I've activated my wild card. I just thought, sod it. <laughs> I'm activating it. You know, people are activating the bloody triple captain chip. Not done that yet. And I've not got rid of bench boost yet. As a lot of you may know, I don't like the bench boost chip. So, yeah, this is the team I've gone for. I've made quite a lot of changes. I just thought to myself, it's time to get in the likes of Palmer, Salah in my team. Um, the time is now. So this team... This squad has like 0.4 in the bank. Uh, got Trent, Pedro, uh, Sanchez, and uh, Lewis in the uh, in the back in the defence. Um, would have liked Guardiola more expensive. Lewis seems to be doing not really better, but like on stats wise, he's getting more touches in the penalty area, I believe. A post that I saw than uh, Guardiola. Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold, keep, 100%. I know I'm a local fan, but definitely keep. Pedro Porro, definitely keep his attack and returns. Expect Spurs to have a very good season this season. Um, but yeah, I just put Lewis in 4.5. Uh, you know, Guardi uh, Gundogan, not Guardiola. Gundogan is back with City. Uh, he's been playing like a CDM Lewis for City so far this season. Uh, we know Kovac is injured. Um, at the moment, I don't know how long he's out for. Might be on the short term, might be on the right back, bloody next week or this weekend. 
Um, but I've got Lewis in there, he's probably impressed Guardiola a lot. Very, very young, uh, fit legs. Very young, uh, promising player. He is Lewis. Um, we know Walker is back. Could he get in that back three? They're playing like a three man defence. Not really playing with any proper full backs at the minute, I don't think, City. Um, yeah, so I've gone for that defence. So yeah, midfield, uh, kept Smith Rowe. I've kept Jota. I kept Rogers going to start and be Leicester. Um, midfield wise, it's going to be, you know, like I said earlier, Palmer and Salah. Yeah, the two big guys, um, main guys, I wish I had to start the season, or at least one of them, to be honest with you. So I brought them in. Uh, I'm going to captain Palmer. Um, yeah, I don't want to stress myself so much when we play United. You know, I'm not expecting like a route. Anything could happen. You know, still a six-pointer. Anything could happen. United could just get it like that, get three points. It could be a board draw. Who knows? But I'm going to go for Palmer. He's on Saturday, I believe. Um, three o'clock, isn't it? So I'm going to put him as captain. You know, Chris Pass lost it. Anderson could lose. Gahi to Newcastle before uh, this weekend. And they're, you know, a bit shaky in that defence then. You know, lost some good defensive uh, players there. So I'm going to go for Palmer. We know his quality. He did fantastic against Wolves. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's my uh, that's my midfield. Look at the forward line now. Haaland. <sighs> Game it one. Set and forget. Boom. Um, and Danny Welbeck up front. So yeah, he's got a tough game against Arsenal. Um, but this bright man's doing well. He's only 31 years of age. And I think, uh, watch that game against Manchester United. Oh, I, you know, I rate Arsenal better than Manchester United for the last couple of years. Um, well, for a while. And um, I just think uh, this, this guy looks promising. This this guy honestly looks so promising uh, for him. Uh, he's got some good uh, transfers come in. He's recruited well. <clears throat> And I think uh, Danny Welbeck is the guy to probably go for. After the Arsenal fixtures, what's well, he got? It switch and all that afterwards. And I think he's... Uh, get him in now, see what happens. He could score against Arsenal. You never know. You never know. That's football for you. It's a funny game. You don't know what could happen. I mean, Brighton could bloody well win at the Emirates. We don't know. Could, could cause a surprise. Who knows? So that's what I'm going for uh, in my starting lineup. Uh, Bench-wise, as you can see there, yeah, the bench isn't great. Um, the four million Aston Villa guy you can see first on the bench. Um, I think he started both of the last two games for Aston Villa. I think Mike Cash is out. I think he's a right back. Uh, four million, go for it. It's Aston Villa at the end of the day. Um, pro another promising season. But a lot on the plate with uh, Europe. Like Newcastle last season. Will they do well? They, will they bottle it? Who knows? So, um, yeah, that's the team. But anyway, guys, that's a wild card team. That's how I got on, and that's how I'm doing so far. I think I'm about 1.9 million. Um, I might just under 2 million, I think. Uh, but that's what I've gone for. It's early days. I'm not judging my season, guys, until like game week 10 or 11. It's early days. You know, there's people playing trouble captains as well. <laughs> you know, you know they, they got ahead of the game, but could all change just like that. But I'm going to give it until game week 11, game week 12 and see how, as far as game week 12 or as early as game week 12 and just see uh, how I'm getting on. But yeah, it's only a game at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, let me know what transfers you're doing, guys, who you captain this week as well, what plans you're doing, how many points you got last game week. It's good to be back, guys. I've just been busy, um, but I'm back, back with a bank. Anyway, guys, take it easy.